Okay guys, welcome back to another tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to transfer data between scenes. Uh, you can do this different ways. The first way uh, we're going to talk about is using player preferences. Uh, you can simply save data into player preferences using keyword keywords and then in different scenes you can retrieve them. You can uh, go watch the previous tutorial, I think it was, that we did a couple of days ago. I'll put the link for that in the description, but today, in today's episode we're going to be using static variables. So to do that I have set up a a very simple uh, project here. All we do, or all, all I've set up is a like a, a text that changes every time you add um, a value to it. So if we play this you can see that it currently adds, I think it's 10 to every time you press the add button. So if we press add if we press add it just adds 10 every time you press it and then there's also a button to go to the next scene so if we go to scene 2 you can see there's a get number button here whenever we press this button it's going to retrieve our saved data and it's going to populate it into our text field here um, and then obviously there's a save one button here that you can go back to save to scene 1 sorry so there's, a, there's a scene 1 button there that you can go press it and go back into scene 1 add some more uh, values at the moment it's not saving anything because we haven't saved it yet but you can switch between the two scenes you can, you can add numbers to the current text and you can also retrieve the number so let's go ahead and do that so uh, all I have done here is I've opened up a switch scene uh, script and all in the only thing in there is ha I have is two different methods all it does is switch between the two scenes I also have a points uh, script here and that is where we I have a uh, add value uh, method here that is called every time you press the add button. Every time you press this, this add bu this add method here is called and it adds 10 to the value. And then we obviously have an update here that updates the text in our game um, every time, well every frame. So whenever you add um, add 10 to the value, after well in the next frame it gets updated in uh, the game. So what we're going to do now is we are going to learn how to uh, save this data or not save it but transfer it in between the two scenes. So to do that let's go ahead and first of all we're not going to need this update here that's just I just put that there to uh, just, uh, to give you an example of what we're going to do and how the text in the game updates so we can get rid of the value as well. And we're going to need a place to store this value so let's go ahead and create another script here and we will call this um, what can we call it, we'll just call it uh, score so let's open up a new script we'll call it score like that and then we'll go ahead and open that and then in here we're not going to need anything other than a static int variable so let's go public static uh, int uh, score we're going to have to name this score int because we can't name it just score because our class name is score. So that's all we're going to do in here. We'll save that and we can close it because we're not going to do anything else in there. And then in our add value here, we can go and simply access that score int value by simply typing in the score of, well, typing in the name of the class, which is score. So if we type in score, and we go score dot um, we should be able to find it here there it is score int so by typing in the class name it gives us access to uh, the the int variable because we made it static so we go let's go let's go and say score dot score int um, and then we can go and add in to our 10 10 onto it so score dot score int plus equals 10 that means every time you press the add value um, or add button it's just gonna add 10 onto the current value of what already exists in the score int so that is pretty much the same as saying um, score int plus score int dot score int plus uh, how do you do this uh, plus equals 10 so that's the same as saying uh, take the the value in score int and add 10 to it so we'll save that and then we also need to update this in our 
in this our uh, text over here. So for that, you can see I've got a reference to that text here. So all we can all we need to do is say uh, number. We can access the text of it. So number dot text is equal to uh, score dot uh, score int. Spell it right. Score int dot two string because that we need to convert that into a string because it is currently an integer. So what this is doing is every time we press the add button, it's going to go ahead and add ten onto the score int, and then it is also going to go ahead and update the text in it. So let's go ahead and see if that works. So if we jump back into Unity, here yeah, we can play our game, and we should be able to add ten onto our our value here every time we press the add button. So if we press add every time we press add, we add 10 onto it, computer's a bit slow so ignore that, but every time we press the add button, uh, or ignore that, that's just, I haven't really formatted this properly, but yeah, every time we press add, it adds an extra 10 onto it, and then what we need to do is, we need to go and retrieve this by going and pressing the scene 2 button, and that will jump us into scene, our second scene. So let's let's have a look and let's see what where we're at. So if we press add just a couple of times, add some value onto our text. So let's oh, when this works. So add and say about twenty. And if we go into scene two, whenever we press this get number here, we should be able to see the value that was in the current scene or oh, the previous scene. Sorry. So let's go and do that. So if we go out of game mode jump back into here all we want to do here is the same thing we can simply go and access um, the value of score int using score dot score int so let's create another variable here and say var or let's we'll say int because this is integer integer uh, value value is equal to score dot score int just like that so that's going to go and get the the value from the score class and it's going to assign, assign that value to our value in this class. So from there, we can go and say, um, we can well, we can basically just copy all of that, and we can update the UI. In this case, being our text, which is a which is our number variable here, we can go and say number dot text um, is equal to the score or score. Instead of score dot score int, we can just say uh, value dot two string. So hopefully this works. So let's save that, jump back into Unity now, and see where we're at. So now, whenever we go and play our game, and we hopefully jump into our first scene. Yeah, this is first scene. So in here, we'll add a, add some value to our our score here. So we'll add uh, what's that? Thirty. So now, if we press scene two and we press get number we have 30 here so that is going into our what's it our score class retrieving the score int from it and assigning that to our value in this class which is our points and then after that is it's updating the the number uh, text um, in the in in our scene with the current value of value that we created over here so that is how we uh, move data between two scenes. It's very simple. Um, if you're new to it, you, it's probably it'll probably be a bit hard to understand. But once you get the hang of it, it's quite simple. But yeah, that's very helpful in multiple games. So if that's something that was helpful to you, please go ahead and like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have more videos coming out um, from Monday to Fridays. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.